Hello, my name is Trent, and today I will be answering a question about William Wallace, and it is, how did William Wallace impact the freedom of the Scottish? Now, to help us answer it, first we should answer some simpler questions. First, like, who was William Wallace? William Wallace was a Scottish man in the 13th and 14th century. He became a Scottish hero after le leading a proclaimed uprising against the English because of the ruling over the Scottish. William became a knight after winning the Battle of Stirling. Now we know he was a knight and Scottish hero. We also know he had a strong impact to the Scottish with his leadership and strong voice he had to his people. Another question to help answer my inquiry question is, why was William Wallace so famous? You may be wondering this as well, as you have heard about him or watched the movie Braveheart with Mel Gibson, which is based on him. Well, Wallace was famous for a majority of reasons. More notable reasons was the Battle of Stirling, which he led along with Andrew Moray and won creating a historic moment for the Scottish. He was appointed Guardian of Scotland. He is also famous as he was recognised as the starter of the Scottish Rebellion against the English. Well, now we know why he was famous. When was he born and when did he die? He was born on the 3rd of April in 1270. He was brought up in a poor family. His father is known to have been a member of the lesser nobility in the west of Scotland. He lived amongst the peasants. He was captured on the 5th of August, 1305, after being portrayed by longtime friend Sir John Menteith. He died on the 23rd of August from torture and hanging. He was then quartered, and each quarter of him was sent to the four corners of England. Now let's recap. We know who William Wallace was, why he was famous, and when he was born and when he died. We are nearly up to answering our inquiry question. How did William Wallace impact the freedom of the Scottish? Now before I answer it, a couple more questions need to be answered. What did William Wallace fight for and where did he die? So, William Wallace fought for the injustice upon the Scottish from the English. He was a mere Scottish peasant treated with disrespect and chose to lead a rebellion. He wanted to give the Scots strength among the English that held them in captivity. For where he died, it was in Smithfield, London. He was tortured and hanged, as I said before. Every year, a number of followers gather around the spot of his death where there is a plank in his remembrance. To the Scottish, he was seen as a martyr. He became to Smithfield after being captured somewhere near Glasgow. Now answering the big question, how did he impact the freedom of the Scottish? William Wallace is still a national hero for the Scottish. He resisted against the invading English who used the dividing Scottish nobles against each other. As well as waking the Scottish up to the treatment they received from the English, he brought dignity and patriotism to the Scottish people. He also led the rebellion of the Scottish people in the 13th and 14th century that started the freedom of the Scottish rebels. That's all I have about William Wallace, and I answered the major question, how did William Wallace impact the freedom of the Scottish? I hope you enjoyed my podcast. Thank you for listening.